Hi, everybody. My name is Kenny Butler, Mr. Butler, and I'm the band teacher here at Southwestern Randolph Middle School. It is so great to uh, be interacting with you. Um, it's been a long time since we've had school, and we're going to finally get it, some of you face to face here on Monday and Tuesday and Thursday and Friday of next week. Um, and the rest of you who are remote, I'm going to get the chance to see your faces at some point um, as this week progresses. So I'm really excited to see you. Um, we're going to have a great time together in band. Uh, you're going to have a blast. Um, being a musician is one of the coolest things ever. Um, it's going to be fun. Uh, as you look down below on the screen, you'll see that there is a email address and a work cell phone number. You can text me uh, questions and I'll get back to you. You can also call me if you need to um, during what you would assume to be business hours. Um, and then my email address, I'm usually checking uh, multiple times a day. Um, so please feel free to send any questions that you may come across. Write them down as the video goes. And then at the end, if I haven't answered them, please do send them out to me because I, I legitimately would like to um, help you out and make sure that this is as easy as a process as possible. So um, the instruments are broken down into class uh, subgroups. So the clarinet, saxophone, and flutes will be in the same period, which is the first elective for sixth graders. It's called sixth period. The trumpet and trombones will be in the last elective for sixth grade, which is the last class of the day um, before we leave every day. Um, and they'll be in seventh period. Uh, and that'll remain the same throughout this year. And then in seventh grade, all the band kids get mushed up into one class and they're um, able to hang out with each other during seventh and eighth grade and for us of band time uh, throughout high school. So uh, this is the only year where we have them broken up. Instrument switches, such as percussion, such as uh, euphonium, tuba, uh, French horn, oboe, bassoon, bass clarinet, tenor saxophone, barry saxophone, those instruments usually we switch to in November. However, we're probably going to do it a little later this year because of the way that um, pacing of the class instruction goes. So I'll be in touch with you as soon as those things become available. Um, I will not hold out too long because I realize that some of you are doing rentals um, and things like that. So in any case, uh, that is um, instrument switches. And that's only for a handful of folks who are doing really, really well on their instrument, who are showing great promise, and also are willing to go through with the audition process to get into those instruments. Um, that's, that's a whole to do. And um, I'll make sure that I'm really clear with you guys once that opportunity becomes available. How do you get an instrument? Um, there are lots of stores in the area, um, both online and also brick and mortar stores. Um, shop around because uh, instrument prices do vary from store to store. Uh, if an instrument looks like its cost is too good to be true, so, so for instance, if you see something online at one of the major online sellers that's really inexpensive, like $100, um, be wary of those instruments. Uh, sometimes they can break a lot easier than the ones that cost maybe two times, three times as much. And uh, uh, I'm not just trying to like have you give all your money away, but there is um, a matter of you get what you pay for. Um, they can only make so much money off of an instrument um, based on price points, quality of production. Um, when you drop those kind of instruments, when you squeeze them the wrong way, put them together just in the slightest wrong way, a lot of times they'll break and they'll break for good and you'll end up buying another one sooner than later. So let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to talk with you about that and coach you through that. Um, apologize for this Screencastify thing. I'm going to try to minimize that. Yes, sorry, right, it's gone. Um, we need to have instruments as soon as we can, and I'm hoping that, that that date is September 7th. With this year being a lot different, that might be a little later, but it won't be any sooner. I can guarantee that. So shoot for September 7th as having your instruments, um, and that's a safe bet. What else is needed? Um, I would encourage you to pause the video at this point and take a look at these things. Um, clarinet and saxophone, in addition to your um, swab, reeds, and court grease, you're also gonna need a mouthpiece and ligature. Um, it, it goes on like this. This is the ligature and this is the mouthpiece. You wanna make sure that you have that set up along with those things in your case. That's for clarinet and saxophone. Um, for trombones, I'll also specify that slide grease and slide cream is not the same thing. Slide grease goes on the 
tube at the top of the trombone, um, and the slide cream goes on the hand slide in inner tube. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. But basically, when you're checking out um, at your store, make sure that you have both slide cream and slide grease. If they're not sure what you're talking about, um, give my cell phone a quick call. Maybe I can coach you through it in the moment if I have the availability. And if you're shopping online, send me a picture and I'll, I'll help you. The book. Um, we're going to use this Tradition of Excellence book for our main method of study. However, there'll be some other things that I supplement with throughout the year. Make sure that when you're going to buy this book, it says Tradition of Excellence. There is another book very similarly called Standard of Excellence. Do not get that book. It's very different. It won't work. Uh, make sure that the picture of the instrument your child wants to play is on the front cover and make sure that it says that instrument on the top left hand corner. Um, those things all uh, get the correct book for your child. Storage. Uh, I'm going to take you for a little walk and uh, I'm going to make my screen bigger, my uh, screencastify screen. Um, so this is the band room. Um, this is where I teach from. It's a pretty cool setup. It's got the ability to do a lot of fun things. Kids will really enjoy that. Um, this is our social distancing area. Uh, we have at least six feet between people at this point. Um, in some cases, it's six feet right on it. Uh, we're still making adjustments to the A day, B day schedule thing. So uh, we're going to make sure that we have as much room as we can so that um, we're as safe as possible. Uh, I will say that I want to be safe, not just for you guys, but also for myself and my family. And we're going to do the absolute best we can with masks being worn um, as much as possible. With band instruments, we will have to take the masks off to play. And um, there'll be a procedure for that with the children. And it'll be um, smooth and uh, rehearsed. Um, and if I ever feel uneasy about my own safety, then I will not do the thing, whatever that is. Um, it'll always be uh, within the confines of what I feel like is safe for all of us. Um, so uh, rest assured, I'm going to do the best I can. All right. So cubbies. Um, this room right here, uh, the kids will come in from this door and they'll walk down here and head over to this room. We'll come in. And as you see, there is some instruments and cubbies right now. Some of them were donated. Some of them were left over um, that we'll get to absorb. Um, but this is where your children will leave their instruments. Pardon the mess. I'm still in the middle of cleaning up um, a little bit from last year. But this is the cubby room. And this is where their instruments will live um, when they're at school. One of the hard parts about this year especially is that I'm not going to have every single day to work with your child um, if they're in school, if they're on the A day, B day model. And what that means is that if they forget their instrument one day, that's kind of a big deal, especially if they're at home, because the county expects us to be teaching one lesson per day. So um, student who's on uh, A day, if they forget their instrument on Tuesday when they leave school, they might need to come um, request that from the front office or, or call call me and I can walk it out to you guys um, during the day so they don't get behind in lessons. We're going to be playing at home, um, and that's, that's important to know. Um, so the bringing instruments to school and remembering to take them home is a pretty big deal this year for that reason. So we'll practice it. We'll talk about it. I'll remind them, and we'll get it right. <clears throat> there will be some grace uh, for oopsies and any other things. Um, and, and just know that I'm not a tyrant when it comes to those things, but I do want to make sure that um, the kids are set up for success. Um, when students come to school and check in with their temperature and all the questions, they'll come down to the band room and they'll put their instruments in the cubby room and then they'll go to their homeroom class. <clears throat> I've gotten that approved by Mr. Kreider. There should be no problem with that. At the end of the school day, they'll come and get their instruments and take them home with them. Um, and it'll, it'll work just like it did last year, except there'll be less people in the building, so the kids will feel more uh, socially distanced. There is a fee. Um, we collect $5 to help cover the cost of incidentals throughout the year. This $5 is essential for us to operate. I cannot stress that enough. The $5 we collect from every band student and choir student is really important to get our... Um, Pardon. <clears throat> it's really important to getting our uh, our 
truck down the road, so to speak. We don't do any fundraisers throughout the year that's like selling chocolate. Well, the school does, but the band doesn't. Um, selling chocolate or selling poinsettias or anything like that. Instead, we just reach out to local families and friends and ask them for local donations, straight up donations. Um, so uh, we'll talk about that more later. I'm not in a rush to fundraise right now. This is a weird time. If and when the economy improves, we'll talk about it more. If you have friends or family that want to contribute to your child's band experience, please let them know about the website that's here on the screen, the tiny.cc link there. Um, it's updated with all the things that um, we're needing at the moment. And there's also an opportunity to do straight donations if they would like to do that as well, where they can just write a check to the school with band um, in the note, and it'll go to the band. Thank you, Scanner. We need a hand trust in front office. So the full costs associated with band are uh, the Tradition of Excellence book, if it did not come with your instrument bundle and if you did not buy it from the music store along with your instrument. Also the Randolph County School Approved Fee, which is $5. And then the band t-shirt. <clears throat> Pardon. Uh, the band t-shirt is, um, I would say it's optional. Um, we're going to use it eventually, so that you probably should get it right now. I would encourage you to, but with no concerts slated for the time being, um, it's hard to say when we're going to use it, except for fun. Um, so get the band shirt. You'll need it eventually. Um, it's $6. It's probably the cheapest t-shirt you can buy besides a undergarment shirt anyway. Um, and it says Southwest Band on it. looks cool. Um, the kids like it. I order those shirts in late September usually just to make sure we get all the monies in because it's a one batch kind of order where I can't rebuy them after the fact. Questions. Um, I think I covered everything that I needed to. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to send a message to my work cell phone um, or my email address and I can um, get back to you as soon as I possibly can. This year is going to be really fun. There's some creative solutions to our global pandemic problem um, that I'm looking forward to trying to implement. Uh, your children will, students, you will get better at music, you will learn, you will grow, and you will be excellent when it's all said and done. So um, I look forward to working with you. I look forward to your smiling faces, however that is shown to me. Um, and I look forward to answering your questions and seeing you next week. Have a great rest of summer break.